Tulsa homeowners say they may have to deal with storm debris for quite some time. City officials say it could take a month for it all to be picked up. In our continuing coverage, 2 News Multimedia journalist Rico Bush talked to one homeowner who says she actually needs the time. Rico? Well, Russ, I just talked with a city spokeswoman. She tells me they are making progress, but while they're making some progress, piles of tree debris, as you can see right here, might take quite some time to get picked up. One week later, Victoria still has debris scattered across her lawn. She's working hard to make sure all of it is cleaned up in time for the city's pickup. So I'm trying to get stuff out to the front for them to haul off. Nearly 120 city workers will eventually make a full sweep throughout every neighborhood in the city to remove storm debris. It could take a month to get to Victoria, but she says that's the least of her worries. Well, I'm glad, grateful. Frankly, my concern is we won't be able to get it, what we have to put out there in time. So if it takes a month, what, it, it, that's fine. I'm just happy that they're going to do it. Cleaning up debris in her yard is only part of what Victoria's dealing with. She also needs to figure out how to rebuild her home after a tree destroyed it. It started raining in my house and I came to my bedroom and it's destroyed. City crews will only pick up green waste, not structural damage. Victoria will have to pick up that tab herself. I cry. It's, it's very, very traumatic to me. Victoria hopes to savage as much as she can from her house and one day call this place home again. The emotional upset is what's been the most difficult thing to deal with. And Russ City crews will continue to pick up that debris tomorrow starting at 8 a.m. in the morning. And the city will be releasing a new pickup map for tomorrow. And we'll have that posted on our website at KJRH.com. Reporting to Midtown Tulsa, I'm Rico Bush. Two News works for you. All right, Rico.